as long as they can't see my eyes. We made it to Shelter Cove, and by we, I mean me and Super Blue. We just said goodbye to Super Bloom's daughter who got us here. Of course, I ditched uh, Sparky Sparkle Farts and picked up Super Bloom because it's not safe to hike alone. I agree. And when people have friends that are willing to hike with them, you gotta take them up on their offer. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, let me just shout out really quickly Shelter Cove as one of the best Oregon pit stops. They have a PCT rest area uh, that includes plugs that you can plug in all of your devices. They have showers. I think they even have laundry, although we didn't partake in that. And they have a free camp zone that is gigantic and so nice with flat spots to sleep. This is the camp at Shelter Cove for PCT hikers. It's free and it's absolutely gigantic. No trouble getting a bubble into this camp zone. Before we got too comfortable here at Shelter Cove, we met another PCT hiker who had tried to hike north from Shelter Cove the day before. He unfortunately had to turn around because the snow was, you guessed it, too dangerous to proceed. So we, as a group, called a trail angel out of Bend to come pick us up and I guess we'll just figure out what to do next. I wanted to document this moment because I feel like the best version of myself right this very second. It feels amazing. <laughs> I feel like I am like in my body, in my spirit, that I'm my complete self right now. And it feels really good. And I just wanted to document the moment because I, I never feel like this. <laughs> The next morning we were picked up by a wonderful trail angel who brought us to Bend and then to Big Lake Youth Camp, which is a wonderful stop on the PCT for um, people who are picking up resupply packages. I was able to check out the PCT area at the Big Lake Youth Camp and it's actually really, really nice. They have laundry facilities, they have showers, uh, you pick up resupply packages, and um, it's not near anything except for a town called Sisters, but it's, it's a great little place. I could, I could see being very comfortable there. We were able to meet up with a bunch of Central Oregon Trail Angels who fed us amazing homemade food and picked our brains about the trail and how they could better serve hikers, which I thought was amazing because they're already amazing. Um, and we were even invited to stay with a couple of them so that we didn't have to pay the absolutely ridiculous cost or price of a hotel slash motel in Bend, Oregon. Lord, the Hotel 6 or Motel 6 was $180 a night. Way too much. So all in all, we were very blessed to this day to be taken care of by all of the trail angels in Central Oregon. One of the trail angels who hosted the dog father and his beautiful puppy, Wiley, had the most incredible garden. Y'all, these poppies were the size of my face. They were so huge. 
I had so much fun walking through her garden and looking at all of the beautiful local flowers. Is that what they're called? Local? Indigenous? I don't know. There's a big thing in Oregon where you can turn your entire garden into a, um, a, a place where all of the, you know what I mean, the indigenous flowers live. And this is exactly what this person did. And it was just such a pleasure to walk through it. Uh, coincidentally, her husband is currently hiking the Pacific Crest Trail and is such a badass. He is actually going through the Sierras and um, at the time that this was filmed, he was making really, really great progress. So it is being done. It's just being done by people who have a way more experience than I have. And uh, it's very exciting to see these people um, get through this really, really scary section of the trail. <laughs> We decided to rent a car and drive to Portland. And before we could pick up the car, we were getting a bit hungry. So we decided to walk to the little downtown area and pick up some breakfast. On the way to breakfast, we met up with a young man who is from Austria. He hiked part of the PCT in 2019 and came back to hike the rest of it this year. We met him and um, decided to bring him along on our chaotic journey. So um, he became part of our little pack. And uh, we brought him back to Portland to um, help get him back onto trail. All right, we're going to the airport in the van, in a van that was in the, in the movie Wild, all packed up, ready to go. Here out of Bend, look at that, she's famous. That's right, friends. This van was an extra in the movie Wild. How appropriate. These are our trail angels. They're so sweet. In front of the, the wild van. <laughs> what are you doing, Wildly? I'm sure Liana Mayfield, she has a boy in her household. She does. She's got two kids. It's so funny because we've just had it for so long. We just, it's just the van, but it is such a big deal, I guess. <laughs> This is like one of the highlights. The books that I didn't like. The book. Yeah. It's a little tough to read. Once we picked up the car, we stopped in Sisters at Snowcap for lunch and, of course, a little treat for Wildly. <laughs> After taking care of all of the usual town chores, like resupplying and soaking our feet, we made our way through some of Portland's more touristy areas, like Voodoo Donut and these beautiful waterfalls. Before we knew it, it was time to say goodbye to our new friends. The guys were going a day ahead of us, hopefully to send us information about what the trail looked like before we proceeded forward. Superbloom and I are on our way to Mount Hood to drop off resupply boxes for some trail, some hikers. 
This is her first time being a trail angel and she's killing it. How are you liking being a trail angel? I love it. I'm absolutely like at my happiest right now. Yay! <laughs> We are both so excited to get back out on trail tomorrow, especially knowing that the next 50 miles are completely clear of snow. Stay tuned because the adventure continues.